Um, I had a trainer with a Latios who taught it frustration even though it had max happiness and it did a whopping 6 damage with a legendary that was tournament banned at the time. I had a, a Spinda on the opponent's field use Teeter Dance to confuse all Pokemon on the field. My opponent was also using a Shedinja, so he confused his own Shedinja, which knocked itself out from confusion because it has 1 HP. And then on top of that, we also had two It Doesn't Affect Misdreavous moments, which I'm going to show on screen right now. All of that being said, even though I didn't like playing through Mount Battle, even though I hated Mount Battle while I was playing through it, I actually really enjoy looking back on it. It sounds really crazy, and it probably is. I'm probably freaking nuts. But it's just one of those things that I think that everyone should experience if they want to feel true pain and have, you know, fun stories to look back on. Especially if you can, like, marathon it with friends or something like that. It's one of those, like, endurance tests. Just for you guys. I will say I don't like the after game of Coliseum, and I think it's the most tedious crap in the world, and I don't enjoy playing the after game. But I legitimately enjoyed playing the main story, and I felt like this was a very nice change of pace, I suppose, from doing three main series Pokemon games that were pretty much the same game, same formula for all intents and purposes. And, you know, it's canonically the next game in the series after Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, even though it came out before Emerald. You get what I'm saying. So, yeah. That's our fourth Pokemon entry under the belt. Not really much else to say.